Hi everyone. Okay, so I am a guest designer for Memory Lane Scrapbook Store and I am going to make cards for you, just one card uh, for four weeks. So four cards all together, once a week I'll bring a video showing you how to make a card. And it's all going to be using the Doodlebug. So is it punny? <laughs> is it punny? I'm assuming it's punny. <laughs> so punny. And uh, I will take you from step one to the end and we will have a card when we're done. Bless is in here. <laughs> um, so just to let you guys know, if you're a regular uh, watcher of mine, then you know, you know how I feel. But if you're not, let me explain something to you guys about me. I do not believe that we need to spend a ton of money to create something nice. I, I, I totally feel that you can make something out of little. And I'm going to show you that. This is the first card I'm going to show you will be the basic. And um, we're going to take what I got here. And so you can buy like one collection and you can make a butt ton of cards with it. So let's, let's get started. I love every single thing that is in this collection. So we will be using it. Don't you worry. And I especially, my favorite thing of Doodlebug are... The doodle pops I cannot get enough of those all my Christmas cards that I exchanged with friends this year was using one collection and I I had like nothing left by the time I was done with my collection it was perfect I loved it so nothing went to waste now I'm gonna take you from the basic two on how to make a uh, card base. You're going to start with your card base. So I have this, uh, let me back you out just a tad. Okay, so I have my little uh, six, I think it's just a six, yeah, a six paper trimmer, six inch paper trimmer. And I'm going to show you what to do with, if you have just a little paper trimmer. So you have your eight and a half by eleven cardstock. You would take your cardstock, go to five and a half right here and you cut it down the middle just like that and then you move that aside and then you fold this over and you have your you have two card bases now so you can either open it this way open it this way so when I do this type of card I tend to want to do it like this way more than this way I don't know why it's just something and weird that way <laughs> okay so that is your your rectangle you know five and a half by four and a quarter and then if you still only have you know the little the little one and you want to do a top folding card then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your eight and a half by eleven um, piece of cardstock and I would recommend because cards are a little different than you know like scrapbooking or you know things like that so go to like Walmart and pick up the acid-free um, eight and a half by eleven cardstock that um, is I think it's Georgia Pacific and it's like seven dollars and you get like a hundred sheets why not you know what why not so what you're gonna do is fold this in half from the get-go so fold it in half and then you would have a bone folder or your finger which is whatever and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your see that open flap now you're going to open it like this right so your top that is sealed still just uh, with the score line you're going to take it like this you're going to open your uh, trimmer and you're going to take it to four and a quarter okay so take it to four and a quarter and then cut it and now you have two top folding cards so and these are the ones I like to do so that's how come and then I mean you can do it like this too but you know I don't know it's your preference so you have basically four ways right I mean seriously you have this way and then let me fold this one in half. So that's where two pieces of cardstock you can have four card bases. So then you can go this way, this way, or this way. So four different from two sheets. So let me let's get started. Let's pick our papers and stuff. And I hacked up my my uh, 
my paper um, padded. It, um, when I opened it, I ended up being too rough with it. So what we're going to do is, I just love this. I love this paper. We can do so much with it. It's so fun. So, so fun. And then I love using these two, the little strips. Now, she has all of these in, Joes Marie's the owner, she has all of these in stock, the whole collection in stock. So everything that I have, she has in her store. So run over there and get it. And I believe if you use the code MANDY20, you get 20% off your order. So that was super cool. So we're going to use, let's use this one. I love that. Okay. So let's use this one. Let's move this aside. Oh, wait. And then I want to, you know what? And then I also want to take, because these these um, collections from Doodlebug, they always have this insert of, let me see. I always have this these fun they have like these things in them oh these so I like using these also they're just I mean what an easy way to make a card so you take two pieces of your paper and let's build something out of it okay so let's do this let me put you in a little bit I might end up having to plug in my cord, so, but we'll see. So I like doing the top folding card. So we are going to cut our paper. So whatever direction, like if you turn your, your paper, if you turn it sideways and cut it at four and a quarter, you're going to have the, uh, the rectangle one. You're going to have it facing this way down. So you want to, if you want to do the top folding, you need to turn it this way. No, you need to turn it this way. Yeah. So this is the rectangle at four and a quarter. You turn it this way. Wait, five and a half, right? No, four and a quarter. Yeah, I was, no, four and a quarter. Yeah. And then turn it sideways and do four and a quarter again. This way. <laughs> so getting distracted by snoring bulldogs okay four and a quarter this way so that way it it does a top folding card four and a quarter long ways then you're going to turn it and then see they're, they're double sided and I love using everything so then you're going to take your five and a half because remember this is a six by six piece of paper so you need to cut it down so now you have two basic strips of paper so what we're going to do is we're going to build our card. I like building my card not on the card base because just in case you need to fix something because <laughs> everything you never make mistakes. There's always a way to fix things, stickers, whatever. So perfect stuff. So we're going to we're going to take that little extra piece that was here and it's going to be a little bit less than a little like a little notch less than one and three quarters. And then we're going to take it, and since we want it to go this way, it's going to be four and a quarter. So let's do that. There we go. And then I like this piece right here. This is another piece, but I think I want to cut it in half and stick it in the corners. But I think this piece is a little too big, so we are going to take and cut it at one and a half by one and a half. I like doing things, I know quarters and three quarters and halves, and that's it. <laughs> I don't do that whole five eighths stuff or seven eighths. I just, it's too confusing for me because I don't need it. <laughs> I don't want that in my life. <laughs> so we take half, we, we're gonna take our little square, one and a half by one and a half, and we are gonna cut it right down the middle. And you can take your scissors and do that. It's all up to you. So, and a little static electricity here. So then we're gonna put that in the corners. I like that. We're gonna go with it. So, what do you think so far? I like it. 
we're gonna use this one right here. So let's cut this one out. Reminds me of grade school when we got to cut out stuff, especially um, during arts and crafts time. So hey, I'd rather use my scissors because <laughs> there's still fun in, to be had in that. Now I want to put this in the middle, but I want to I want to make it more a little bit more, especially because I have all of these little extra pieces, and I have and I would like to bring this out. So I'm going to pop this out. I'm going to make, I'm going to mat it. And by matting it, I mean, I'm going to take, I'm going to put something in the back. So you take your white piece of paper and you just want to bring it out a little bit more. So I'm going to take my white piece of paper and I'm going to cut it at one and three quarters. And two and a quarter. should be right we'll see <laughs> okay so that is perfect that's exactly what I want so and then what you can do is you can grab I have this little extra it's just like a cheapy little uh, ink pad which you can get at the dollar store and you can have your basic black and that's cool and then all you do is you take your side of your ink pad and slide it down almost like giving it a paper cut so you want to keep it straight, keep this straight to kiss it and pull it down. Kiss it and pull it down. And that just adds a little bit more to your white cardstock to show that, you know, that it, there's something there. It's not just air. So let's take that and I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go ahead and put it on top. You eyeball it and try and make it even. I like that. Friends stick together. Because sometimes you don't have sentiments, you know, you don't have a stamp set or things like that. So you just want to, you just want to be able to uh, use a two-in-one, you know, which is a cute design plus a little sentiment. So I think that's perfect. So let's go ahead and put our corners down. And then you can get this ATG gun for like 50% off at Michael's. And I think it makes it like $20. So that's a good deal too. Or just use um, um, liquid ad adhesive also. Yep. Okay, we're all good with that. I need to put a little bit more down on that. I'll do that in a little bit. So I have these two little extra, sh you know, extra little um, pieces. And I also, you know what, there's more in the collection that we can use. So, let's see what else there is. Oh, there's these things. There's these little guys. So you can use those, or you can use the back. I'm gonna use the back for this one. So, I don't think I'm gonna use, um, let's see. Let's take, let's use the pizza. You know what, and I want it to go across here. So let's cut it down to four and a quarter because we already know that's the length of this, of this area. And then let's cut it down to one and three quarters because that's the easiest route to go. <laughs> so, oh, wait, one and three quarters? No, I don't want it that big. Oh no, I want it the length of the silver. You see the silver right? Oh, let me put you in frame. Well, you don't need to see me cutting, but now you need to see. See how there's a silver, the silver little band right here? That's the width I want. So I'm gonna put this in here and I'm going to cut it at that length. So you just line it up with the, the cutting mechanism, I guess. Just what it is and so we already cut it down at four and a quarter so let's go ahead and put that in the middle 
and just eyeball that one also. So. Maybe a little lower. Doesn't have to be like completely perfect. And then what we're gonna do is, so these are already down, so we want this to be right here. And let's use some of the, you can get this at Walmart for like 69 cents or any of the floss that you want. It's just regular floss. And we're just gonna bring out a little bit more on it. So take your, um, your tape and have it handy because when you do twine or floss or anything like that and you don't have somebody to help you you need tape <laughs> so you need tape so go ahead and take off a big amount of floss and we're going to wrap it so start on one end and then turn it around and tape it then start wrapping it and you just wrap it as many times as you want or as little I just think it adds something and it's really inexpensive and it's just you know fun so oh so it's a little short so what I'm gonna do is I am going to tape that and then I'm gonna cut it and guess what? It doesn't matter because we can get more. So, because I want one more strip. So take your tape and we are going to wrap it. So take it to the top again, wrap it. it doesn't even look like you stopped anything that's what's cool about this is that it, there's I mean it doesn't even look like anything right so go ahead and tape tape it down now and let's put it in somewhat middle pick it up a little now, if there's anything you want me to change on this video, because it's the first time I've made a card like this, usually I do Project Life. So if there's something that I'm not doing right and you would like to see me fix for the next one, then let me know, okay? Because I don't mind constructive criticism because uh, I don't know if it's too far away. I don't know anything until I upload it. So then let's put this in the middle. Super cute, super, super cute. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a couple of uh, stickers off of the uh, long one. This is the long sheet, the, I think it's six by 12. And let's take a couple of the stickers, just so we can, we can make it. Do you guys want me to scooch in? Okay. Oh, maybe next time I'll do a scoochariner, huh? Would that be better? You guys have to talk to me, okay? That way I can figure out what you guys can see and not see. Isn't that cute? So then all you're gonna do is turn it upside down and glue your back. And then I like to crisscross. And then turn it up. What do you guys think? Take your top folding card and then I like to line up the bottom left. I don't know why. I just, I've always done it like that. And the one thing about ATG though, you have to make sure it's perfect. So, or else once it's stuck, it's stuck in it, but you can buy undo and it won't be a big deal. So what do you guys think? Is that cute or what? I love it. So go see, I mean, that was just with your basic. That was with some Walmart um, floss, an ink pad that you can get at the 99 cent store. And 
Sorry guys, it cut off at 20 minutes because that's how long it goes. I can't believe I went longer than that. <laughs> so, okay, so you need your basic paper pad and then you have your, all this stuff was from one paper pad and because you have this part of it and all the backing because you always want to use every little piece because it when it when um, paper is double sided it makes life so much easier and you can do way more with it and then you can take the innards of this also so yeah this was just a little piece it was just like i think it's two by two by three is that right two two by one and three quarters yeah two by one and three quarters and some stickers off the um off the sheet so hey that's really cool and you can do i mean look how much i have left also i mean i can do a ton more with these two things and then look at how many there are there are three six seven eight nine ten there's still ten that you can incorporate into cards it's really really a fun it's a fun thing to do and and then to um what i want to say um stretch your imagination to make your paper pack and your stickers go so far is so much fun so i recommend taking all of the collections together putting it all in one bag which i will do with this collection i will put it all in a bag and when i'm done with card number four with you guys and I, what I plan on doing is making even more and I'll show you at the end because I want to use everything in here and I'll show you how many cards I can get out of it with just having fun with not being frugal with it either. So, and then can you imagine if you were frugal with it, how much more you can do? So yeah, so I will be back and I'm, I'm going to show you more because I love this and I think you guys will have a kick. You guys will get a kick out of it also. I mean, look at how many you get for this also. There is so many in the odds and ends uh, collection. So really fun. So go to Memory Lane Scrapbook Store, and I will put a link in the description box and um, use the code Mandy20 if you want to, you know, do this with me. So because if you buy the collection, you can make these cards also because I am not using anything else but your basic stuff except for maybe, you know, a couple of 99 cent stuff. So. I want you guys to do this with me, so have fun and let me know if uh, if you end up um, playing along with me. All right, guys, thank you, Jess Marie, for letting me guest design for this for the next four weeks, and I hope you like it. And I will talk to you, everybody later. All right, guys, take care. Bye.